that's just a nervous thing that I do, I'm not that vain. Right, okay, uh, welcome to the first Nymphs and Fugs Insta session. Every week at 7.30, we're going to have a different guest poet, um, relaxed conversations, relaxed performances. I just want it to be really chilled. It's going to be half an hour just for one poet, and it's something I'm really, really looking forward to do. Um, last week, we did our fifth birthday celebrations, and we had all of the acts from Nymphs and Fugs on the bill for the first time on Zoom. And it was like a two hour epic and I really, really loved it. And I thought it'd be great to keep the momentum going and just do little half an hour gigs every week. Uh, sometimes I'll host it, sometimes I won't, but regardless, the poets are always going to be amazing. Uh, so this week, I'm really excited to have Nafisa Hamid joining us. Uh, Nafisa is one of Birmingham's rising stars. Um, I first came across her debut collection, Besharam, in 2018 through our mutual publisher, Verve Poetry Press. Um, yeah, and she's performed at a Live White Leeds event. She's absolutely brilliant. I love her to bits. Um, if you want to make a d donation to support Nafisa um, or any of the future artists, the best bet is to go to the link in our bio after the show um, and chuck us some digital coins through PayPal. And if you do that, 100% of the money will go to whichever artist it is because um, obviously we want to chuck them some money if we can do. So... I'm going to have a little look and see if Nafisa's there to, ready to join. Let's have a butchers. No, not yet. All right. Well, I'll just chat to you for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to be inviting some of my favourite poets from around the country. Um, also, maybe further afield as well, because obviously the beauty of this lockdown situation is like we don't have to travel anywhere. We don't have to pay for trains or hotels or anything. We can all just do it from our living room. So I'm hoping that after a couple of gigs with poets from the UK, I can ask a few from the US, uh, various different countries. And we're going to try and get some of the best poets in the world performing on Insta sessions. Not, not wrong with being ambitious from the off. Um, and uh, the reason I chose the Fisa is because... Uh, well, she's one of the most exciting poets in the country right now, I think. Uh, a collection I'm going to mention later on, it was highly commended for the Forward Prize 2020. Um, and as I say, she performed at a Livewire Leeds event in October last year. Um, and I, I really think she's going places. So I'm really, really excited to, to have invited Nafisa along to perform here. And I also featured one of Nafisa's poems in uh, Roaring Twenties Radio, in the last episode of Roaring Twenties Radio. Um, I asked a few poets to send in voice recordings and it absolutely blew me away. Um, so, I'm just going to message her and see, just message her on my other device, this is how high tech I am, to see if she's ready to join. Da -da 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 -da. Go live with, let's see. Cool, yeah, she says she's ready, so I just need to tell her to watch it. Tech issues on the first one, it's all right. You can hear me typing away, tap, tap, tapping away. Cool. Um, so, has anybody here seen Nafisa perform before at any events? See if any comments come in. No? Ah, Nafisa's joined. Great stuff. So, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Nafisa works, it's going to call her and then it'll be a split screen and then we'll have Nafisa, hopefully. Hi. Alright mate. Hello. Hey, oh. How are you doing? You alright? It was very bizarre. It is weird, isn't it? It is. It's good fun though. I keep yeah. faffing with my fringe because I'm nervous. Whenever I'm nervous, I faff with my fringe. <laughs> I've got a comb over now, look, I look like a 60s footballer. Um, <laughs> great, so is this, your, is this your first ever gig then, online? It is, yeah. I don't, I don't like Skyping people at the best of times. <laughs> I know, I know, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? So now I've asked you to do it live in front of loads of people online. Yeah, yeah. not like being dropped in the deep end. Um, so how are you doing? How, how, how are you doing in the lockdown? Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm all right, actually. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think I need to uh, expand my vocabulary to learn new wo words to describe my emotions. That's what I need to do, really. But we've been all right. Uh, yeah, I've been all right though, that's it. That's, that's as much as I've got to say, I think. Well, how has it affected you as an artist, like as a writer? Um, a lot of cancelled gigs. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I'd say one, one plus side is that they extended um, the tax return thingy that, that you're meant to do. And uh, I think the actual deadline was july the third or something like that and then they extended it to january and this was going to be my first year doing 
a proper grown oh, yeah. tax return. So I was kind of right. like, oh, I've, run out, I've, I've really run out of time. But um, rang them up. They said, yeah, it's all right. We're just, we're just going to extend that a bit. So oh, like, that's good. Very good. And have, have you felt under pressure to be like making the most of the time and being productive, Definitely. like writing all the time? Definitely. Like, it's, it's been really lovely, but um, lot of, I've joined a lot of online Facebook groups, poetry groups and stuff, but, um, and it's been really beautiful reading other people's stuff, which is kind of why I joined. I didn't join so I could post any of my own stuff. Um, right. But, th but there is a lot of pressure, I think, to be coming out with lots of really interesting writing at the moment, because what else are writers for? You know, if we're not productive during these times and coming out with poetry about the times then uh, what are we doing yeah kind of i know everyone's like oh you'll be able to write a novel now and it's like hold on a minute <laughs> bloody hell <laughs> it took <laughs> me like four weeks just to adjust <laughs> so have you written any poems at all since the lockdown like, i haven't by the way i'm not putting you under pressure i'm just curious <laughs> i am relieved to say matt i actually have yeah really yeah, nice and is it about the lockdown I, do, I don't expect you to spill the beans like but i'm just curious um i'm actually i might be reading a couple of tonight just to sort of nice. experiment a bit i guess so you, you yeah 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 access to uh un unheard and read material oh um, that's amazing yeah. oh, i'm buzzing about that yeah um well i don't want to ask you too many more questions if you've introduced the fact that you're going to read some new stuff but i just wanted to have you, I just wanted to ask if you'd been watching any online stuff because there's been so many gigs, it's been crazy. Have you been taking part in it or have you sort of like been in a shell a little bit? Uh, I've got to be honest, I've been trying to spend as little time on my phone and on my laptop as possible. Good. I think that's partially, yeah. par partially that procrastination, but also because I know it's just not good for me. So I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, I was staying away from it before the lockdown. Why would I jump deeper into it whilst in lockdown? So, yeah, fair play. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm quite lucky in the sense that um, I've been bumping into a few artist friends here on my little daily walk, and then I'll bump into. Really? You know, I'm like, ah, thank God. Ah, <laughs> nice. Ah. Oh, man. I, I, a little chat. I, I've, from... mm. I've not seen anyone I know for months. It's bizarre. Oh, um, I anyways. Live in the area of Birmingham, where ah. find all the creatives live here, so, which is lovely. I see. Yeah. I see. I live, yeah, well, I live in the only bit of East London where there aren't any creatives, I don't think, apart from my fiance, who's like always in the same oh, room, yeah. which is amazing. But uh, we don't see anyone out and about, so it's a shame. Yeah. Anyways, it's not about me, it's about you. So, are you up for reading a couple of poems? Then we'll have another <laughs> chat. Yeah, I'm up for it. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Nice one. Um, right. If you want to read a few back to back, or if you want to just read one and then chat, just whatever you want to do, okay. it's totally cool. I think I'll do. Um one and then and then have a little chat and then do another one cool but, um cool. I'll, I'll start with a poem a, a brand new poem here we go nice um yeah a brand new poem that i wrote i think this was on the day they announced the lockdown um and yeah i was, I was just sat in a park i didn't even know there was going to be a big announcement that day i'm a bit a little bit aloof I guess when it comes to things like that I don't watch tv as it is why would I why would I tune into a tv on the day of well anyway but I wrote yeah. this um so I think this was oh, one second Matt I've just got to put my phone on charge <laughs> no worries oh, rookie error. hey good timing you'd not started the poem you'd not started the poem so it was perfect timing really Cool. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not great at stuff. That's text all right. Stuff. No, no, don't, it's fine. It's all good. How am I gonna do this now? I'm gonna flip it over. Oh, that's the that's the beauty of these online gigs. Yeah. Everyone's a bit everyone's a bit chilled. It sort of takes the pressure off because we all know that tech's a bit of a nightmare, and Fuck. it's all good. It is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah. So this is a poem I wrote um at the start of lockdown. When the world was ending, I sat in a sunny park, seeing in spring. Finally, she's come. Feel like I waited forever for you. There were two other people in the whole huge park. Only two other, two other people, only two. 
who saw her quietly come by to, soaking up the wet grass, daffodils and daisies, muddy rellies, scarf wrapped tight, squinting in the sun, I spot my first bumblebee of the year, small smile, think about what to have for dinner, remember how to feel hungry again, and how best to carry on like normal. Lift your head up first. Take a long sip of the coldest water you have ever drunk. The wind holding your hair away from your glowing tear-streaked face. Plant your hands into Mother Earth. Pull yourself up. We're nowhere near being done. There we go. That's something I wrote. Oh, beautiful. That was beautiful. Really, really amazing. And like to have written that on the day of a lockdown as well. It's mad to think what was in store when you just sort of enjoying the start of spring and then. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's very strange. Yeah, I remember. Um, I don't like bumblebees just for context. Well, not. I don't. I love bumblebees and all the amazing work they do. Um, but I'm scared. I, I don't like buzzing, insecty type things. This way. Oh, hi, James. Hi, Sam. Oh, that's Sam. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm going to get very... <laughs> hi, Alex. I know. Oh, <laughs> oh. sorry. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's loads of people giving you love and giving you claps. It's oh, weird, isn't it, when you nice. see them pop up? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm not going to be able to read and talk, so I'm just going to talk. Um... But yeah, it was really lovely. I got to see this bee and I wasn't scared of it. I was like, thank God, thank God there's a bee. Oh, that means good things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that was quite nice. I was just sat on a hill, just watching the bees. Just feeling quite content. <laughs> tranquil, content. It was yeah. Friday the 13th, though, which should have been a clue that it was all going to go wrong. Yeah. Friday the 13th when they announced it. What a disaster. No, what are you most looking so forward to? <laughs> what, what do you think you most what else am I looking forward to what What are you most looking forward to like once the lockdown's lifted what are you most looking forward to oh my god so much Matt but literally I was, I was saying to a friend the other day I'm really I want to go to I want to spend as much time as I can in all the galleries in Birmingham that's I just want to go and be in a gallery in an art gallery or a museum or something and just go and spend just be there every day <laughs> Yeah, Amazing. Overdo it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Overdo it in the first week and then never go again. <laughs> yeah, it's the little stuff that we take for granted, isn't it? It's yeah, mad. Exactly. It's mad. Yeah. Um, so, your debut collection, um, for anybody who might not have read it yet, what can they expect when they pick it up from the bookshelf or pick it up off the doormat after they've bought it? Um, Beshiram is. Hmm, I'd say it's, it's, it's heavy, but the more I read it, it's um the more I read it, the more hope I get from it personally. So I think there's a lot of hope in there as well. Yeah. Um, but Did it's, you... yeah, it's gen it's generally um quite focused on quite heavy uh heavy themes. Do you think is that because at the time that you were writing it, it felt really heavy because you were sort of using it as catharsis and getting it off your chest? But now in hindsight, <laughs> you can see the hope. Yeah, definitely, right. definitely, definitely. And I think um as as much as I thought that I'd processed a lot of what I was writing about, um, I think I was still fairly naive when I wrote this book. So I got it in front of me. There you go. If anyone's wondering what Matt's talking about, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I think I look back at it now and I'm like, oh my god, I've learned so much since. And but I wouldn't want to change any of the poems either. It's I'm glad they are as they are, and I wouldn't. Um, want to change them I'm, I'm glad that my poetry is changing as well as good as, yeah of course along Amazing. with my personality along with my personal growth <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely uh, <laughs> they sort of hold hands with each other don't they you yeah. know as you go through life do you want to read us another one um yeah i will do um cool. the next one i'm gonna read you so i thought i'd go sort of from past uh sorry from present backwards so i'm reading yeah. my most like my newest poems first and then maybe finish off with um with something from the actual book cool. um that I'm, I'm trying to sell as well like 
Anyway, I'm doing that thing that I usually would do at, oh. a, at a market. <laughs> a gig, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to see that's not gone. Um, <laughs> so, uh, the next... So this was another little um, thing that I experimented with um, just before the lockdown and all of this. Um, and I was... Yeah, I'll just read it out. It's it's a uh, it's a little something, and I haven't finished it yet. But it's a sequence of poems um, that essentially focus on playground culture, right? Things that happen in playgrounds, um, and just some of the things that I remember from my playground days. Um, <clears throat> so there's nice. uh, three three little parts of uh, the very tiny little parts. I'll just read them out. Cool. One. When the older girl from year six sidles up to me in the playground and asks, which boy I like? Which one do you like? Shouldn't ask you like that, it's my turn. I panic, scan the playground for boys. Point sheepishly at the first one from my class that I see. That one, him. I don't know what it means. But I'm in with the big girl gang now. They giggle in unison. I giggle with them. My rhythm off. <laughs> Number two. We paint our nails glossy pink for all the boys we might marry one day. Three. In and out of each other's houses like we were family. The dads were never around at the factories doing taxi. I think your dad is really nice. I tell my best friend walking, from, walking home from school one day. He shows you one face and us another, she says. And I finally understand what she might have meant and laugh. At how I didn't see those those three. Is it alright if I read one off on the back of that? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Another fairly new one related to playground culture, but I have to find it quickly. No worries. One second. Oh, it's great that you're sharing new stuff. That's buzzing. Thank you. I'm really enjoying sharing new stuff. Actually, it's it's um. Just to notice it in myself as well, just the growth in myself as a writer. Like I'm wanting to write about different things, which is really nice. Because I yeah, think yeah, for yeah. a while I got stuck thinking, oh my God, am I, am I just going to be writing poems about womanhood for the rest of my life now? But actually, no, like, or am I just going to be writing depressing poems for my entire career? But that's, but that's catastrophizing. Uh, it is. You were there, it then. Is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um... But yeah, this this poem that I'm about to read out um, is uh, is a sort of attempt at writing children's poetry as well, because that's something I've been trying out um, more children nice. friendly stuff. Yeah. Um, so to any yeah, I, I hope I hope this uh, live stream was children friendly. Anyway, I don't think I've said anything so far. That's not me. Not yet. No, not yet. We got time though. Matt, don't <laughs> Still light outside. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll read my next poem, which again follows on fl uh, from something that I'm focusing on, which is playground culture. Cool. And uh, it is called On the Day They Captured Saddam. On the day they captured Saddam, we all cheered in the playground. Lollipop lips, sticky with spite already. We knew nothing, apart from the hate we heard spewing from the mouths of adults we trusted, TV boxes we trusted. We knew nothing, as we scored goals, ran from one side of the playground to the other, shouting, they got Saddam, they got Saddam, kill the bastard. 
like new song lyrics we'd learnt overnight. When our favourite dinner lady looked sad that day, we asked why. Why aren't you happy, miss? Have you not seen the news, miss? Aren't you glad? We finally got him, miss. Mrs Yasmin loved kids. She handed us sweets from her huge trench coat. Whispered to a handful of us she knew would listen, even without the sweets we would have listened to her. That even though he was a bad man who did bad things, there was no celebration here. She was just sad to see good kids like us celebrating a situation we knew nothing about. And that's that. Wow, stunning. Yeah, I love, I love that moment of really like when the dinner lady's not happy and you, yeah, that's, that's incredible. It's, it's something I'm, um, like, I don't know when that feeling's going to stop of like coins just dropping. I feel like maybe I'm just at that age where more and more coins keep dropping and I'm like, ah, my parents were so right about this and that. Ah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, that's what that meant. Or, oh, that's what was going on at that time. Like, I was probably like in year, I think I was in year three or year, year four. So it was about eight or nine. I must have been when Saddam Hussein was captured. Yeah. And what a weird time in my school that was. Yeah. Um, yeah, very strange time. Like, yeah. And just for context, I went to majority Muslim school and it's, so it's a whole, like, bunch of Muslim of course. celebrating something that we were taught to be celebrating. But yeah, it's a very yeah. complicated situation. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's why poetry is so powerful because obviously yeah. that experience for me would have been totally different for you. And like, and, it, and everyone's experience of it would have been different. That's why poetry is yeah. so powerful, I think. That's both it. for you, dropping the coins, and for other people getting an insight, really. That's it, yeah. Um, yeah, Definitely. amazing. Um, so, result, it's about, that's yeah, about seven minutes left before oh. eight o'clock. Uh, we, can always, we can run over a little bit if you want. I'll just have to move next into next room because Maria's doing a gig at eight o'clock. Oh, so I'll have in this house I tonight. I'm listening into that. I know, yeah, you should yeah. do. Uh, raise the, raise the uh, hammer and tongue are doing a slam. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, with some nice. guests. Um, yeah, we don't have to finish eight on the dot, but we sort of about seven minutes till then. So, what else have you got up your sleeve? Um, what else have I got up my sleeve? Um, I'm. I think I might read a couple from. Uh, my I'm pulling that up like it's my own book. That book. My book. <laughs> I mean, all oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll read a couple from here, and then the final one is also from here, but it is the poem that was published in the forward ah. poetry, which I'm quite of proud course. of. Of um, course. Yeah, too right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll finish off with that one, but in the meantime, I will read a couple of very short ones from my book, which is Bershurim. It's published with Verve Poetry Press. Um, I really... I, uh, I would have, I imagined myself like, uh, when I was trying to put a set together, Matt, for this, and I, yeah. I really just wanted to read other people's poetry more than anything. I was like, oh, but there's this poet that I want to talk about, and there's this poet, and there's, ah, so many different poets I want to talk about. Uh, Interesting. Yes. And Well, maybe in future, I'll ask people to read, I guess, read someone else's as part of the set, maybe. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's a knot in Birmingham that does that, uh, but I feel like right. I'm, I'm moving on to ideas rather than my set. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> I'm going to read um, the opening book, the opening poem of my book. Cool. Which is always significant to me. Missing. My father walks from door to door. Hands held together like he is doing the war. They are covered in blood. He splutters Betty to anyone who will listen. Blood spraying from his grieving mouth. He is covered in blood. Juma Sulvarakami's bleached white before. I wonder how my mother got out the stains. 
A blood vessel has erupted and my father thinks he is beyond repair. I wonder if my mother bothered scrubbing the stains out or if she buried the whole thing instead. My mother is a suburban English village. Quiet and collected, she has not made a sound yet. Thus be against her chest. I think me and my mother found womanhood that day. In her absence and in mine. I felt like she was praying to me. I heard her words as clear as the call to prayer on a Friday afternoon, yet the congregation sat at home and wept. The muazin answers questions from police. Later, I find out she was praying for me. She rebirthed me that night as part Javan, part still child, still nine. The string of her dusty beads is fraying with the dampness of her hands. Her glowing chest has lost count of the Alhamdulillah and Subhanallah and Allah who upwards. But here she is, my mother, still praying for my return. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. I love that one. Thank you. That was, it feels like a whole age ago when I wrote this book. <laughs> it feels like, oh my God, I, I think it's only been uh, two years. Wow, what a time. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. I'm Imagine back. how you'll feel in two years from now, yeah. Oh God, I'm going to, I am, oh, I'm going to be nearly 30. Yeah, it's going to be very strange. I might have another book out. Probably. I've been having some book ideas lately, Matt. That's been good. Quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm going to read um, my final poem. That's okay. And yeah. Cool. Yeah. As I mentioned earlier, it's in the Forward, the Forward Book of Poetry 2020, um, which was That's really incredible. Oh, it was. Oh, you know, it was amazing going to the award ceremony. It was yeah, so, I bet. It was really grand and just like, ooh, ooh. And then, and then I just like sat on my, I went on my own and was just sat on my own in the audience. And I was oh. like, ha ha ha, and then you know who I am. But this <laughs> book that you're all going to buy in a minute. Um, yeah, it was, it's, I'm very proud of this. Uh, yeah, so you should but, be. Yeah, I, I will read the poem in it um so i guess most people who follow me already or who who know my work um know that i my work focuses a lot on destigmatizing mental health issues and getting people to talk more about things uh things that affect our minds and yeah and getting people to open up about traumas and things like that, or yeah, just make yeah. it more okay to talk about those things. Um, so anyway, this this poem is in the second section of the book, which is the mind section, and yeah, I read. Actually, is it okay if I read this? And I'm just thinking, can I read one quick, fairly yeah. full one to close the fun? I'm very aware. I'm I'm trying not to end on a on a two I'll just you, whatever you want to do. Absolutely I'm, whatever I'm you want to do. At this point. I'm gonna read this one and be okay with the fact that I've read this one. That's what I'll do. That's fine. Whatever you wanna do. Doctor's appointment. My mind is all woman. It is uneasy. My doctor tells me part of my woman is ill. I don't want to woman anymore, I tell him. He nods without looking at me. His glasses do not budge from the tip of his nose as he continues to take notes. He asks how long. I say since my mother birthed me and named me woman, he asks how long. I say too long. He says the new tablets will help me woman again. 
Thank you very much, Matt, for having me. Oh, that's <laughs> absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Nafisa. Just everything me. I could have hoped for for this first session. I'm really, really chuffed that you were able to do it. Um, yeah, beautiful reading. And I hope you do more because you were great. Thank you. Thanks for um, me. So everyone who's watching, please buy Nafisa's book. And like I said at the start, if you want to donate, I'll give all the money to Nafisa. Just go to the link in the Nims and Fugs bio on our Instagram. Cool. Thank ah, you very lovely, much. Lovely people. Thank you very much for watching. Much love. I'm not very good at replying cool. to people, so yes. Oh, the, I think the I comment, well, the comment will be there. But it, it will share it to our story and you, I think you'll oh, be able to see the comments. Okay, so. there we go. Okay. Cool. Good night. Take care, Matt. See you later. Bye. Look, Maria. Watch you in a bit. <laughs> Bye. Bye.